Hello guys, also guys, the same says here today, and welcome to my latest cruise ship. This is the Oceanic Harmony, my new custom cruise ship for my custom cruise line, OCL. Now, if you guys have seen my series, How to Build a Cruise Ship, this is the same ship as was in that series with a little bit of modifications. Uh, so, it is finally released. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, because I know that these videos kind of attract a newer audience, a lot of my cruise ship videos get more views. So if you're new, please be sure to subscribe and go check out my other content, because I have a lot of other Minecraft cruise ship stuff that I do, and not just cruise ships, but also uh, showcase kind of server stuff. But anyways, enough of the self-promotion. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a very brief tour, and uh, the download for this thing will be in the description below, and it's Planet Minecraft page, as well as my Patreon account, hint, hint. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So this is Deck Zero. Pretty much where the crew is. Uh, we will get to this here in a minute, but first I would like to show the exterior of the ship really quickly because I know you guys are probably wanting to see that uh, for the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick 360 go around view and talk about the ship a little bit. So this ship really didn't have that much inspiration from any other ship uh, with the exception of the back was kind of more inspired by Quantum. But for the most part, this is an original design. Now, it did take a year to build this ship only because I had to film every uh, every step of the way. You know, it was kind of a pain to film it, and sometimes it didn't have time. So that's why it took a long time for this ship to come out. And it's also all on film on how to build a cruise ship. So if you guys actually wanted to see the ship being built, go check out that series on my channel. And you can actually see the thing being built block by block. All of it is documented, so I think that's relatively cool. And, yep, so this is kind of a more smaller ship that I've made. It wasn't really meant to be very big. It was just meant to be kind of like an Alaskan cruiser, almost. You know, nothing really super, super big. Because, you know, sometimes you just like the smaller ships. And honestly, the smaller ships have more personality than, <laughs> than the bigger ships sometimes. Because, I don't know, it's just more of a cozy feeling. And they just have their own kind of taste. So that's why I like kind of smaller ships sometimes. But anyways, that is the outside of the ship. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start in the engine room. And there is a doorway to get down there, but I can't be bothered to go find it. So let's go ahead and break our oops, break our way down there. And we will begin the tour. So this is the fuel room where they store all the fuel. And you can see inside and make sure the fuel's okay and everything. So there's six main fuel tanks, and they all connect to the engines. Well, actually, there's eight. Yeah, there's eight main fuel tanks that connect to these ten-cylinder and oops, <laughs> wrong thing. Okay, let's go this way. <laughs> To connect to the 10 cylinder engines that are back here, and I am not doing this right. Okay, there we go. So the 10 cylinder engines are back here, and right here also is the ECR, which is the engine control room where it pretty much controls all the engines and the fuel tanks. And here are the engines that the fuel connects to all 10 cylinders. There is six of them, as well as these uh, like kind of breakers and stuff in the middle to control these engines and all the switches and all the pumps that they require to run. And if you go back here, this connects to the shaft room, which is where the dual propeller system comes into play. And this motor, uh, yeah, this motor <laughs> controls these shafts right here. God, I can't speak today. Uh, anyways, so it is not as a pod like most ships that I build. This actually has a propeller system, more like an older style. But personally, when I'm on my ship simulator, I like the shaft or, or shaft propellers better than the azipods. Azipods just get annoying after a while. But that is my personal preference. So I cannot. Ah keyboard why you gotta do this to me anyways let's keep moving on so in here is the water filtration plant definitely not the engines like I said a minute ago this is the water filtration plant that makes sure that your water is not polluted in the ship because the last thing we need is a whole bunch of poison passengers that would be very bad for the company and here are all the uh, generators that produce the electricity for the ship so that you can actually you know charge your iPhone and stuff because God forbid someone doesn't have their phone and in here is the 12 cylinder uh, shaft propeller or er, thruster engine which pretty much just powers the forward thrusters and the motor in the back powers the stern thrusters now in here we have the engine control room for this and these so that controls these two rooms and the other ECR controls the other two rooms so let's go ahead and go upstairs and I forgot to put a button there I'll fix that so this is also whole deck pretty much has crew rooms and all that stuff you guys can go explore them for yourself uh, I'm not really gonna go into depth with deck zero this is also the storage area for most of the dry food and, you know, the gift stop stuff and anything you really need to store, towels, all that stuff. That's what that main storage room is for. And there's a forklift entrance in there as well. So let's go ahead and go in here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one of the rooms and the hallways. So down here, the hallways are more kind of wide. These are more ocean view. These are very nice cabins in my opinion. We have the nice big couch and the huge bed, as well as the massive bathroom that you will never find on a cruise ship. 
as well as your little porthole. So these are much, much bigger than the balcony cabins up above, but that's because of building constraints. So there is that. Let's go ahead and go on to one of the main entertainment decks, because that's the funnest part. So this is going to be roughly deck three. Now in here we have the uh, theater. God, yeah, sorry, I'm in brain farts all the time. <laughs> this is the main theater where they do all the shows, the magic tricks, you know, all that stuff. And sometimes comedy shows, actually, but that, we have an actual comedy club in the back of the ship for that. But this is the main theater. And then in here is the backstage area, as well as the dressing rooms. This is the makeup room. The dressing rooms are over here. There's two of them, where you get dressed and stuff. Make sure that you're all ready to go and perform and all that. And over here is the exit to the bow of the ship, you know, for the crew, so that they can go in their hot tubs and relax, get away from the passengers that are always bugging them, you know, stuff like that. And these are just mainly offices, as well as the upstairs up here, which is, again, crew offices for your cruise directors and all your officers and all the people that need an office. So there you go. Let's go ahead and go there. There's also a bar, and we'll go upwards into the casino. So the casino, there's a casino bar. Over here we have a roulette table, and we also have a gambling table, you know, where you can lose all your money, and at least you can look, at least you can look out at the ocean and look at your money being wasted. So we also have the slot machines lined up, as well as a nice hallway. All right, so this is the glory part of the ship. This is the atrium. Now, if you guys watch my How to Build a Cruise Ship series, this does look a little bit different than the way I built it. I just like this design a little bit better, so I changed it. But nonetheless, this is the atrium. Um, this is kind of like the centerpiece for it. Now, I put a shore excursions and a guest services desk, and I did it on both sides because I cannot tell you guys how many times I've been on a cruise ship and the lines are outrageous. So now there are two different guest services desks and two different shore excursions desks to avoid the big line buildup. So, you know, being smart, you know, architecture stuff. And here is the gift shop where you can spend a countless amount of money spending it on things that will only last you a week and you will use only a week so there's your gift shop and here's jewelry shop where you can buy ridiculously overpriced jewelry they can get for nearly half the price on amazon but here is the jewelry shop <laughs> i love how condescending i'm being it's great anyways there's just a little lounge area now in here you have another bar and this is the dance club right here as you see dance club this is the club where a whole bunch of people get drunk and have seizures on the floor <laughs> just kidding this is just the dance club and you have a bar in here as well, just pretty much a general hangout area if you want to go out in the ship late at night and have to find something to do. And this is the Blue Whale Bar. Now, if you guys have followed my channel for a very long time, you know that every OCL ship has to have one of these, and this ship's no exception. This is a Blue Whale Bar, and this is actually relatively bigger than most of the other ones that I built on the other OCL ships. So, you have all your tables and everything. And also, this is an escape to the promenade deck on the outside. So... Let's go ahead and make our way back up, and we'll go to the other entertainment deck, because this ship has two entertainment decks, which is great. We'll go this way. Okay, so this is another main promenade deck. Uh, this is mainly all seating, so if you want to just hang out, you know, you could just sit here, look at the lifeboat, admire it. And here is the comedy club. Kind of loosely based off of Carnival Conquest Comedy Club, I'm not going to lie, but it gets the, you, get the, you get the point. So... You go up here, you're performing, you make people laugh, and then go back into your crew room and realize how depressed your life is. Just kidding. I'm sure those comedians are perfectly happy. This is a bar, and this is the steakhouse where you can buy ridiculously overpriced steak. So I try to make it more dark, kind of. I wanted to kind of fit that steakhouse look, as well as you can also go over here and actually see your food being made, because I've seen that on some ships and some real steakhouses. And that's one of my favorite parts, is actually being able to see the steak being made and smell it, and like, thinking, oh man, in a couple minutes I'm going to have that. So, that is the point of the steakhouse. And here is the arcade. I've put general shooter games, you know, pinball machines, this punching bag game, which if you guys have never played that, you need to. And this is a slot machine as well. Not a slot machine. Not a, <laughs> no, there is not a slot machine in, in this. This is not a casino by any means. No, this is the pinball machine I meant to say, and it's a crane. You know, just general stuff for the arcade. Uh, again, another bar, Blue Whale Mini Bar. And in here is your conference centers where your businesses can pretty much rent space and have conferences. Or AA meetings as well, and that works too. You know, those are really those are really helpful on a cruise ship. Not for the cruise line, but for the people. The cruise line loses money because of those things. And in here we have another gift shop because why not have two? Uh, more darker kind of thing. But yeah, I, I, I just ran out of space, so I put another gift shop. And in here is the book short, or not bookstore, the library. God, I can't speak today. This is a library and it's covered by glass because you know people will steal the books. So you can actually come in here, sit down, and look at the books. But no, you cannot touch them. It's like every other cruise ship. 
And here's a sushi bar. You get sushi. You eat that raw fish. And here is more of like an Italian restaurant. It's kind of more small, you know. But it gets the job done. We want an Italian restaurant on board. And then right here is also the kids club. And this is the check-in counter for your kids as well. So you can drop them off there and go to the Italian restaurant. Um, so yes, let's go ahead and keep moving. And here, this is another entrance to the uh, theater. So let's go ahead and we'll go show you a balcony cabin really quickly. So as I said, these are a little bit more thin hallways just because of the building constraints, but honestly, it's pretty thin in real life as well, or most cruise ships are, so it is no factor. In here, you have a bed, your lamp. Look at you can turn it on and off. It's great. And in here, you also have your pot and your TV. So you can say you have a pot on a cruise ship. See? You have a pot. And out here, you also have your balcony, of course, which is why most people get a balcony, so you can look out and look at the dark, rainy clouds that's about to hit a thunderstorm. Okay, wonderful. So... Let's keep moving. We'll go ahead and go up to the spa area, which should be right here. Yep, there's a spa area. So you have men and women, and we'll go ahead and go on the women's side, just because we can. Because boys don't get that opportunity too often. And right here, you have the sinks, your showers, your lockers, and pretty much everything you need. And on the men's side, the showers doubles as a urinal, because men, we all know that. We all know you do that. And here is the uh, actual gym itself. These are all the treadmills, and you also have your water fountains. Because, you know, water fountains are absolutely great on a cruise ship. I cannot, I mean, on a, in a gym, I can't tell you how great they are. They're just awesome. And we'll close that door. And here you have your massage rooms. This is just a storage room right here. But you have the massage rooms. You go in here, you lay down, and you pay someone to touch you. So there's that. And then in here is steam rooms, where you get steamed. That sounds really, really messed up. But anyways, that is your steam room in there. So, in here, this is the check-in area for the actual haircutting place, or the barber shop. In here you see you have your, oh, what's the name of that thing? The blow dryer, that's blow dryer. It sits right there, and you also have your cabinet, and then you have a whole bunch of hair supplies as well on the racks, and you have the thing that goes over your head, the giant glass bowl, which I don't know what it's called, but it does something this cool, I don't know. Never use it, don't even know what it does. So we'll go out here into the rain, toggle the downfall. Out here you have two nice hot tubs, as well as a whole bunch of seating, so you should not have a trouble finding a seat, as well as your main pool. Now up here we also have a basketball court, right behind the main antenna. You can play basketball or steal the basketball and say you got a free basketball on the cruise ship, even though you didn't, you stole it. Over here you have some umbrellas, you know, because some people complain about the sun too much, so they get the umbrellas. And up here you also have your mini golf course as well as the track around the funnel. Now in here is your bar area, not your bar area, the, the buffet. Start, go start with B so you know, you gotta give him credit. Now there's the buffet area, you have your big long buffets in here, and you have different lines for different things, and then you go eat your food, and you get over here, and you eat, and you look over the lovely ocean, and realize your cruise is almost over. But, back here you also have your adult swimming pool and your adult hot tubs, so you can look out with your with your wife, or if you're single, you can, well, nothing romantic about that. But you can just look out the back of the ship and see the nice sunset. So that is pretty much the ship in a nutshell. Now before I go, I will go ahead and show you guys the dining room, because I do realize I have forgotten to do that. So let's go ahead and go in here. Just break my way in. And, in here... You have your main dining rooms. Now I try to make this look kind of like the atrium in a way because I want it to resemble it as a circle. And it's meant to be more of a formal kind of occasion, although this is the ship's main dining room where you have main dinners and everything. This is where you get your assigned seating and you get to sit with a whole bunch of strangers you don't know. Well, at least I don't. When I go on cruises, I get my own table, but you know, some people don't. Some people like to sit with strangers and that's perfectly fine. I just don't. Yep, so this is your main dining room. Wonderful. Okay, so that is about all I'm going to show you for today. Now, be sure to go check download the ship and check out all the other areas for yourself. There's a lot to see. And if you guys want to use a ship in a project or like a server or video, that is perfectly fine with me. Just be sure you give me credit, please. And all I ask is that you show the board that I showed at the beginning of the video. But again, thank you guys very much for the support of this channel. And be sure to go download the Giant Minecraft page, slap the subscribe button, and the like. And as always, have an awesome day. Thank you.